Um, what's your name and what do you do? My name is Sammy Payne and I am the co-founder of Open Bionics. My name is Daniel Melville, I'm a volunteer and tester for Open Bionics. All right, um, we'll just uh, jump right in <laughs> into the most uh, obvious feature of yourself. Um, you have a bionic arm. Yep. Um, what's, what basically your story? Um, so basically I was only born my left arm and for long, many many years I had prosthetics I really didn't like, they didn't stand out in a positive way at all. So um, for years I kind of gave up on the whole thing and then one day uh, I saw that it was a Kickstarter about uh, 3D printed low cost prosthetic hands and then I got in touch with Joel the founder of Open Bionics and then I said do you want someone to test and here I am. So yeah that's like the miniature story of how it went so yeah. And you are the co-founder of Open Bionics, and um, what what was basically your goal in the beginning or when you uh, founded the company? So the goal was to make robotic prosthetics super affordable and accessible, because at the moment they're really expensive, so not many people get to have them. The other goal was to turn like the idea of disability, that it's a negative thing, on its head. We wanted someone to look at a prosthetic and be like, oh my god, that's really cool, I want one of those, or that's amazing, how did you get it? So instead of like looking at someone who has a, a limb difference and, and maybe being a bit shy, shying away from it and, and not and staring, um, we wanted a more positive interaction where people come over and feel, feel confident to talk about it. And what was kind of the process of this kind of prosthetic? Like it's um, where obviously at Gamescom with uh, Deus Ex, how did that um, like, like, how did that come to, uh, come to fruition? So um, we've been making bionic hands for around two years and we made a bionic hand uh, that had Swarovski crystals on, it had fiber optic wires that glowed at night um, and we put a video up on, on, online and we had all of these CSX fans being like, this is amazing, I didn't know this existed yet and you should totally make an Adam Jensen arm and they kept uh, tagging DSX in all of the tweets and the, f the fans really of the game started a mini campaign um, to get us to work together. Um, and then we, we did, we just started working together. We um, had some really good conversations with the 3D artists at DSX. Um, they were like, okay, we've spent 10 years designing bionic limbs for video games. Like, how do we make it real? Like, they, they were coming at it from a completely different perspective. Um, and we, we sat down with them and told them the constraints. Um, they produced all those amazing aesthetics and we turned their, their science fiction into a reality um, using 3D printing. Yeah, um, turning it into real life, um, you said uh, basically 3D printing. Um, how can you 3D print basically a, a, such a complex structure? <laughs> um, well, we have very talented robotics engineers um, and software and electronics engineers. Um, so that's how we do it. Um, the really cool thing about this arm and, and the Titan arm is that they're all going to be open source. So we're going to share all of our 3D modeling online. We're going to share all of the design files and then anyone can three, um, download and 3D print this, this arm at home. Um, and for you, who is uh, the recipient of the, of the arm, yeah. um, how, are, how does the, uh, or how did your life change basically with the new bionic arm or what uh, things are you now capable of doing basically? Well, I've never seen myself as disabled in any way, shape or form, but wearing this is like gives you such a more positive light on things because people go, wow, oh my God, that, that's, the, that's Adam Jensen's arm. And uh, I've actually been a fan of the franchise as well. But for everyday use as well, you don't realize until, uh, I don't know, just when, like earlier we were looking at some of the VR head, like VR games, and we noticed that some of them you need two hands and something like this, you would be able to just play it easy or just picking up things like day by day, just easy uses really. So yeah, it's pretty... It's easy to pick stuff up once you get the knack of it. So yeah, and I think you've got to be passionate about it as well, really. Sure. Yeah. Um, and how exactly do you control the motion in your arm? Like uh, you said, the, you you don't have um, basically the, the lower part of your yeah. arm. Um, so just about here, okay. that's where my arm stops, and that's where the wonderful technology begins. <laughs> um, we use EMG sensors in the upper lower part of my arm. So how you would tense your muscles like up and down okay. um, is how I'd be able to open and close it. So, so um, 
Yeah, so then we also can change grip patterns as well. So it's pretty cool. So it's not just an open close. You can also do pinch, thumbs up. So you can just do more than one thing. And it's just fantastic. It's pretty much like a standard prosthetic, standard uh, bionic hand control system um, called EMG. Um, and what is kind of your plan for the future? Because um, we all love progress and we're not going to stop here. Um, what are your plans? I'm surprised you didn't say the catchphrase from DSX, which is can't kill progress. <laughs> Come on! It's close enough. That's so yeah. easy. Close enough, I guess. Yeah. Um, right, so what's, what's next? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of, of things that we're working on. We're hoping to have these out next year. Um, we want to add a, a really good wrist. Um, we want to work on legs. We want to add more designs. Um, so yeah, there's, there's, there's so much, and there's so many easy so many easy improvements we can make. There's so much uh, big, there's big room for improvement. So everything, every small step we're taking now, we're breaking new ground and it's getting more and more exciting. And you as a recipient, uh, what would you like to have um, in future prosthetics? Um, have maybe a mobile in the, on it or like, um, just, ah, it's, it's really hard to explain, but like, you know, things that like most people would want to just have there and then you could have like, maybe like, like say your phone, or like um, a Swiss Army knife or something, just things that just, you know, you just, you know, that's off the top of my head, it's not coming out well, but. Dan like, just wants weapons. Yeah, I, yeah, weapons that's clearly what I want. I want the cannon from the game in it and everything. But no, like, honestly, just being able to upgrade the arm as well and just being like, someone could just be like, you know, just get out and just be like, hello, and just talk on their arm would just be <laughs> insane. So that kind of thing, that kind of upgrade would be amazing. So yeah. We did make the, um, so you, you know, Adam Jensen has the Tesla coils. Yeah, true. So we, we did make a version of this arm with the Tesla coils, uh, but it was too dangerous to bring out of the lab. <laughs> oh man, that, w that would have been actually awesome, but yeah. if it's too dangerous, of course. We'll share a video. <laughs> oh yeah, um, in the presentation we had like the, the talk about um, how much a normal prosthetic, uh, prosthetic is. Um, can you g again give some numbers on what scale we're actually talking? Yeah, so traditionally bionic hands that have uh, multi-grip so that can move fingers individually can cost anywhere from like $60,000 to $100,000, um, which is why so few people have them. We're using 3D printing to make prosthetics one day for, for under $3,000. I mean, that's what we're working towards. We want to make the most low-cost and accessible bionic hand um, that we can. Right. I'm still very impressed with the result. It's really awesome to see. And basically what you said, um, actually pretty cool. And I wish uh, I had one, actually. It's, That's what we like to hear as well. It's like it's uh, such a weird thing to say. I wish I hadn't had a hand. Yeah, I've had a lot of that lately. A lot of people just say, oh, I cut my arm off of one of those. I'm like, D don't do that. Honestly, like I just think you know, it's a great feeling, but at the same time, I'm like guys, don't do that. Unless you have one arm, then you need one of these. These are awesome. <laughs> On first thought, it it could be awesome, but then you think again, and then. Yeah. <laughs> but it, but it's cool to see that um, that it can be so life changing, that it can be so encouraging to people who have a disability to yeah. to basically yeah, augment yeah. themselves. And you said with the Swiss Army knife and. Uh, all of the just anything that just comes to mind, you know, just something really cool, like even using your hand as a mouse on your computer, like somehow uh, yeah. using Bluetooth or something and using that as a mouse, just just spitball in there. But you know, something just just so so many cool things, and then it would probably make people want to, you know, or uh, augmentation or even upgrade their arms in the future to the, for the, what they want to do. It's awesome. It's the future. Yeah, it really is. I, when I walked into uh, or when you walked into uh, into the room, we had no idea what we're getting, uh, what we've gotten in, uh, in ourselves into, and we were like, oh. Okay. We like that. So we, we like that. We've had a few people who like haven't even realised. They either think I'm wearing it as part of a cosplay piece, or they just they're like, what? And then as soon as we explain it, they're like, no, that is not. Yeah. And then when you explain it, they, their eyes light up with excitement. We've had we've had journalists um, think that it's a glove and that Dan has a hand underneath, and that they've asked journalists have asked if they can wear it and like do a story or film it, but yeah. with them wearing it, even though they have a hand. <laughs> Again, really awesome to see, and I love uh, that you guys came out here to to show off uh, the cool things you do. And I hope that in the future we can be get uh, better and more safe Tesla coils on <laughs> Bionic limbs. Thanks for your time, guys. Thank I really you. appreciated it. Cheers.